Hey guys, Esther here. Welcome back to another video. And today we got another top five for you guys. This top five is pretty cool because we'll be taking a look at the top five worst Power Rangers teams. Now you might be thinking, you know, worst? There's worst teams? Oh my God, I know one Mega Force. But like, I'm not talking about seasons in general. I'm talking about the team. Team, when it comes to that, it comes to the people who are on the team, the powers, and how the Rangers have gone throughout their season. And if they were to fight each other, who will come out on top? who will come out in bottom and this this is the bottom of the bottom now i'm very excited for this video if you haven't seen a previous video i did like this idea i talked about the top five strongest power rangers teams i'll put an icon of that on your screen if you missed it uh that was also a pretty good video but today we're doing the top five worst teams so 250 likes for more i would greatly appreciate it and thank you so much for the new subscribers don't forget to check me out on my discord and a like comment subscribe ring the notification bell shout outs to the patreons which i will now do at the end of the video but if you want to be patreon link in the description and yeah let's get rolling number five of my worst of the worst it is the light speed rescue team now when you think of power rangers in general what team do you think you may think of mighty morphin you may think of samurai you may think of RPM, but you don't think of Lightspeed Rescue. Lightspeed Rescue, uh, top 10 forgettable seasons of all time. And just the team in general. The team isn't meant to become a Power Rangers team that goes into space and defeats aliens. They're legit just firefighter rescues. They're just a military with Power Rangers powers. And, you know, no offense to the Lightspeed Rescue team, because the Lightspeed Rescue team, the team in general, does have some good members on it that make it a good team, that make them strong and furious but when it comes to their powers and what they can do if they were to fight another ranger team they would certainly lose so but that's just my opinion these are my opinions do not get mad do not press the dislike button do not put hate comments please unless you do i'll delete them or give a nice comeback i don't know let me know number four on the list is the power rangers turbo turbo why in the world did you replace Zia with Turbo? Of course, of course, Sentai footage. But when it comes to the actual continuity, if you forget Sentai footage and forget this is a TV show, in a real world situation, why would you replace the Zia powers with Turbo powers? It makes no sense. The Turbo powers are literally just cars, and Turbo is legit one of the reasons why Power Rangers almost got canceled. Remember that video? Icon your screen. Um, but Turbo, it just sucks. The team sucks. The lineup sucks. Justin sucks. We know this. And the powers aren't just good as Zeo or Mighty Morphin. It's a downgrade. It's legit. Mighty Morphin from Zeo, upgrade. Zeo to Turbo, big downgrade. So Zeo would obviously lose. Now the Alien Rangers on our number three spot. Now, Alien Rangers, don't get me wrong. They look cool. All right, but they're just aliens. They're legit just aliens. This is, this is Este rambling on about why Power Ranger sucks. They're just aliens. They're nothing special. They're not like Kaku Ranger where they have ninja powers. You know, they know ninja or whatever. But legit, there is no reason why the ninja rangers or alien rangers in this sense would win in any battle. Because all they have is their alien swords and their fast stuff. It's not going to help them in the long run. Because those gimmicks that they have where they, whoa, teleport and they do this and that. That's not going to last them in the battle. It's not going to help at all. Those gimmicks, they're not going to work. Just period. Alien Rangers, they suck. I'm sorry to, to break it to you, nostalgia fans. You think I care? No. I'm not even a Power Rangers fan. Just kidding. That was a joke. Some people are going to take that seriously. <laughs> On the list, number two. We're at number two. Yeah, number two. This is Ninja Steel. It's Ninja Steel. Now, I said in the last video... I'm not personally excited for Super Ninja Steel. I, I think it's bad, a bad season. It's worse than Mega Force, but that's for another day. And I got a lot of hate comments. I really do got a lot of hate comments for that. I just don't think that Ninja Steel is that good of a season. And neither is Mega Force, but Mega Force is somewhat better. But the team of Ninja Steel just sucks, period. We know nothing about the characters. Legit nothing. Preston? Yeah. Brody? Yeah. Uh, Sarah? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. We just got Brody and his lost father. But as ninjas, they they don't do much. If they were going to fight with Ninja Storm, Ninja Storm beat them in ASAP because Ninja Storm are professional rangers. These are just teenagers who had very light ninja training. And other than that, 
they're not really good. Sarah's tech isn't going to help. Uh, Press's magic isn't going to help if they go going against Mystic Force. So, Ninja Steel just sucks. The season sucks. The team sucks. I'm the number one Ninja Steel hater. I hate uh, Rick and, Vic and Monty. Like and subscribe. Our last one on the list is Operation Overdrive now. The season is probably the worst in Power Rangers history. Maybe. Possibly. And the team just sucks in general. The characters have no motivation. And if they have a motivation, it's pretty simple. 2D. We don't learn much of it throughout the series. Even though we know Max a robot, right? Whoa, spoiler alert. He's a robot. But it's not going to help. The team just in general just isn't powerful enough. They just go hunt for treasure. That's all they do. And fight the monster that try to get the treasure. Other than that, they haven't saved the world that big. Alright, they teamed up with the old Power Rangers. whoop de doo People do that. Ninja Steel's gonna do that. Alright, so, if you think about it, Operation Overdrive is just a bad team. Bad members, bad weapons, like, like these weapons are bad. The Zords are disgusting, horrible, and they're just not powerful. And Operation Overdrive, yes, they are the king. They are the number one worst Power Rangers team of all time. When it comes to strength, I might talk about my top five best and worst Power Rangers season if you guys hit the like button and reach the like goal for the video. But I really appreciate you guys for watching. Shout out to the patrons, of course. Uh, let me see if I can remember. Soundboard, uh, Slim Pony Ranger, uh, the, the, this, this guy right here, and the, there's a few more. I'm sorry. I really i am sorry. I forget. But thank you guys for watching this video. I'm a Sid Gamer. I hope you guys have a great day and get ready for the next video because that's coming at you real soon. I'm Estee, the gamer. Stay awesome, everybody.